Good evening, my brothers and sisters. I'm Father Ben Flores coming to you from an empty church today, uh, but it will be full soon enough. We are in Holy Week, and I just wanted to review with you a few things uh, for the Tritium, that is the three holiest days for us as Catholics, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil. All three make up one day in preparation, of course, for the great resurrection of our Lord on Easter Sunday. I invite you, my friends, uh, to look at our parish website uh, for more details on all of these announcements. You can go to www.epblessedsacrament.org, and there you'll find links and much more to all of these announcements. But I wanted to just review with you a little bit on Holy Thursday. Of course, that's a commemoration of the Lord's Supper. It is on that day when we traditionally wash the disciples' feet. Of course, everything has been reduced because of the pandemic. Uh, we will not have uh, the blessing of the bread that we normally would pass out, nor do we have uh, the blessed candles. Uh, and that is because we will not be at vigil with the Blessed Sacrament. As you know, most churches set up a place outside of the church after the liturgy, and we usually set up until 12 midnight, and people can visit different churches uh, and come to prayer at uh, the Blessed Sacrament. That will not be possible this year, unfortunately. So I'd like to let you know that churches will be closing after the liturgy, uh, that night uh, and there will be no churches open for those visitations so please take note after mass we will close the church and there is no adoration as before god willing next year we will review that and be able to do that again on good friday the following day we will be uh, commemorating the passion of the lord it is a day of prayer it is a day of fasting, and it is a day of abstinence. That means that we don't eat meat on that Good Friday. We abstain from full meals at the three times that we normally would eat, and we choose one meal. Uh, a day of prayer. So we we'll begin the day at 9 a.m. Uh, in English, we'll have a prayer here, uh, excuse me, bilingually. At 12 noon, we will have again another time of prayer. We will uh, pray the Stations of the Cross. That too will be bilingual. And then at 3 p.m., we will recite the Divine Mercy. All are welcome to join us at that time, also a bilingual time of prayer. At 7 p.m., we will commemorate the Lord's Passion. Um, and there again, I invite you to uh, take a look at your bulletin and you will see that at the time of the veneration of the cross, we would normally approach the cross, we kiss the cross or we touch it. This year, unfortunately, because of uh, pandemic uh, protocols, uh, we will not be allowed to uh, adore the cross as we were accustomed to. We will simply do so from the pews. Um, again, the churches are open at 25% of capacity, so we invite you to get here early so that you can be uh, one of the 120 that we are able to house here at Blessed Sacrament. On the vigil of the Lord Saturday, uh, that is the vigil right before Easter Sunday, uh, we will commemorate here again uh, in a very different way that vigil. Normally, we would begin outside blessing the new fire, blessing our new Easter candle. That will not be part of this year's liturgy. We will simply begin inside with the liturgy of the word. Uh, the church will be lit, so there's no need for you to bring your candles since we will not be lighting them this year. We also, because of the pandemic, we forego the uh, catechumens and candidates. We didn't have any religious formation this year, so we don't have baptisms, we don't have confirmations, we don't have first communions this year, and we will be renovating simply our baptismal promises as Catholics at that liturgy. So we invite you, my friends, to uh, come and experience once again a very different uh, uh, and unprecedented time of the Holy Tritium, these sacred three days, most sacred days of all of them. 
uh, throughout the calendar year. Join us uh, for these days. The times are in your bulletin. And then, of course, Easter Sunday uh, at 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 2 p.m. We'll be celebrating the resurrection of the Lord. God bless you. Stay healthy and be well.